New iPhone leaks talk about a bigger design and an unchanged camera. Samsung comes clear about their plans with the Galaxy S5 and Galaxy Note 4, and smartwatches could be getting more attractive pricing. I'm Jaime Rivera, and isn't it odd that the iPhone is getting bigger and the iPads are kind of getting smaller? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as T-Mobile's CES presentation just happened Then they've just spilled the beans. The company is willing to pay you for your early termination fees on any of the major carriers to switch T-Mobile up to 350 bucks. All you have to do is turn in your phone, but uh, then again, even though this is a very, very good deal, makes you wonder how they're gonna plan to deal with the fact that their network is still not as good as they'd want it to be. Anyway, and on to other official news. If you're interested in getting the Moto G on Verizon, you can do so today. And it's great because the phone will just cost you $100 prepaid. And uh, wait, before you start celebrating, there is a catch. I don't know if you've noticed, but the Verizon plans are actually the most expensive ones when it comes to prepaid. It's actually twice as expensive when compared to T-Mobile and AT&T. So uh, I think it would be cheaper to actually pay the 180 bucks for the phone anywhere else and uh, save some money on the plan. Now, Arcos is a company that we haven't really talked about before, but they do deserve some praise right now. Their CES presentation just finished, and the company is offering us a couple of smartwatches that look like the Pebble, but it'll only cost you 50 bucks. And when you think about the fact that that's $100 off the old Pebble, $200 off the new Pebble, and you're getting pretty much the same functionality, hopefully we haven't really tested it yet, it is a very sweet deal. We just hope that they do it very soon. They're promising it for later this year. Now let's talk about the iPhone 6 as we get the first leaks of this phone, or at least its design, and uh, we're thinking that this is probably just an early prototype, but we're seeing a chassis that is big, and we're talking about a 4.7 inch display type of big, which is really interesting that they're trying to make the phone bigger for their next revamp. It is due for a full revamp now, so let's see how that goes, but even more interesting is the fact that, well, the camera apparently will not change. Apparently we're still getting the same 8 megapixel camera that we currently have, which is Kind of sad though, again, this is Apple. We don't really know what to expect. So we'll keep you posted on these rumors. They're gonna start now and they're not gonna stop until that phone launches. And finally, for the hot news of the day, Samsung's executives just sat down with Bloomberg for an interview and they spilled the beans for their Galaxy lineup this year. First of all, the Galaxy S5 is getting a dramatic revamp. According to them, it was a disappointment that the Galaxy S4 was just an iterative update and they wanna change that. But we're also getting a new Galaxy gear along with this phone, so buyers be where this one will change dramatically. And then we are getting a new Galaxy S4 and apparently it will be more expensive because they're planning to focus it on professionals, people that are actually willing to pay for it. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. What would be your one wish to change for the Galaxy lineup this year? Because in my particular case, I want a better battery Galaxy S5, like I do, like that is like the only thing. I wouldn't care about the update, the design, just a better battery, but leave us a comment down below. What do you want? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.